In this video, I will show you how to create this kind of creative team member section using Elementor. No additional plugin is required. To accomplish this, we will be using some CSS code snippets. So make sure you have the Elementor Pro because with Elementor Pro, you can actually apply the additional CSS to your containers or columns or sections. So make sure to keep watching this entire video till the end to never miss a thing. And without further ado, let's get started now. All right, so right here you can see that the Elementor page builder is already loaded and I'm using the Elementor containers here. So first of all, what I'll do is to add a new container with the column approach or maybe I can use the row container here. And then inside of this row container, what I want to do is to drag one more inner container and I wanna duplicate this container so that we have three containers right here. Once I'll have these three containers, once again, what I want to do is to drag one more inner container here. I actually want to open this navigator so that we can actually see what we are doing. So now I have this navigator open. From now, what I want to do is to drag an image. I'll drag this image here and then I wanna select one image. I'll use this image and I'll select this image. I'll go to the style tab and then for the border radius, I'll make this 50% so that we have a nice border radius here on the image. And then for the width, I wanna change the width to 50% so that we have uh, this circular image here. Next thing, what I want to do is to drag a heading widget that is going to be the name of the person. So I will rename this as John Doe. And for the John Doe, what I want to do is to change the font size. I'll change the font size to 32 pixels. And then I want to align it in the center as well. After that, what I want to do is to insert one more heading widget here. And this time I want to change it to the paragraph text here. Now I want to get some lorem ipsum. So I'll copy the lorem ipsum from the template that I already created. And I'll then insert that lorem ipsum here. And then from the style tab, what I want to do is to change the line height to 1.3 em. After that, what I want to do is to insert an email field. For that, I will insert one more heading widget right here. And then for this heading widget, what I want to do is to change the font size to 20 pixels. And I want to change the weight to 500. And then I want to align it in the center and I will change this as the email address. That can be anything. So for now, I'll make it as chondo at the rate of gmail.com. And then right here, you can insert the email link that can be mailed to and your email address. That is whenever someone click here, they'll be able to send the email on this address. After that, what I want to do is to insert some social media icons. So I'll insert the social media icons right here, right at the bottom. And then I want to change their color to the custom colors. For the primary color, I want to make it transparent. And then I want to change their color to something like this. Once you will do that, the next thing we'll have to do is to assign the classes. So in order to assign these classes, what you'll have to do, first of all, click on this main container. So let's just rename this as the main container. And then this one, I'll rename this as child container. And then this container, I wanna rename this container as inner container. And then we have this image. I wanna rename this image as avatar and then let's keep it as heading and this one is actually the member info let's just change this heading to member name and this heading is actually the member email and then the last thing these are actually the social icons so now what i want to do is to assign the custom classes so for that, you'll have to go to this advanced tab and right here, you'll have to assign the classes. So for this main container, you want to assign a class that is team grid. Then for this child container, 
you want to assign a class that is team call and then for this inner container you want to assign a class that is team call inner and then for this avatar you want to assign a class as avatar and then for this member name you want to assign the class as member name for the member info the class is going to be member info for the member email you want to assign a class that is member email or simply the member mail and for the social media icons you want to assign a class as member social all right so once you will do that the next thing that you want to do is to go to this parent container and then you want to click on this padding and click on this percentage and then from these percentages you want to make this one as 5% on the top and 5% on the bottom after that click on this child container and from here align this in the center right here in the center once that is done the next thing that you have to do is to apply some CSS so for that click on this parent container then go to custom CSS and then apply this CSS I'll provide you this CSS as you can easily copy from the description of this video now for this image what you will actually have to do is to reduce the width so let's just reduce the width to probably 40% and I think 40% looks fine or maybe you wanna make it 35% so, so this one is 35% and right here you can see the hover function is working properly now what you wanna do is to duplicate this and for that first of all I wanna get rid of this container from here and then I wanna get rid of this container from here and then for this child container I'll duplicate these containers so I'll duplicate it one more time and now you can see now we have these three cards right here now let's just check that how you want to make them responsive in order to make them responsive click on this responsive mode and then I'll switch to this mobile portrait now right here you can see we have a problem because we have this vertical scrolling option here that whenever you hover over they expand vertically on the top so in order to fix this problem click on this parent container and then go to this layout and then uh, go to this gap between element and change this value to 50 and once you will do that right here you can see if you will hover over it will not break the layout you can even increase the value and make it 60 70 or anything that you want now we also want to have some spacing on the top because here you can see the image is breaking so for that go to this advanced tab and then I want to increase the value to 5 pixel here or 5 percent here and then I want to actually increase the padding on the top and I want to make it to 25 pixels uh, percent on the top and 25 percent on the bottom and now here you can see if I click on you know, if I hover over there you can see the animations is working properly so in this way you can make this responsive as well and this is all about this video I hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon to never miss an update thank you very much I'll see you in the next video